today for a little trip in the woods haven't been out in the woods for a while about time to go so we've been hanging around here I've been convalescing long enough time to get out and see some of the country we live in it's a little smoky today but it's from the fires up in the northwestern part of uh, the state up in the Siskiyou country. So they're gonna dink around with those things forever here, probably until the end of fire season. They're, um, the big box theory is in process up there. I was watching the, there's a guy that does a little fire update thing online and he was talking about it this morning. And uh, you know, they, continue to use the big box, what I call the big box theory, which uh, basically, if you ask me, is a guarantee that they're, they're gonna be thousands and thousands of acres burned before it's done. So anyway, I guess uh, it's the way it goes. It's what they do nowadays. Um, anyway, we're going up to Grizzly, in the Grizzly Peak area. Uh, a couple of roads that I want to take up there I was looking at that may or may not be ones we've been on. One of them maybe, the other one uh, I don't think we've been on. So anyway, we're going to go check it out. <laughs> up the road from Mount Huff, from China Grade, going to Mount Huff. We're not going to Mount Huff today, but this is the road we're on. It's nice to be able to drive through these areas that haven't burned. Well, we found a nice little spot to have lunch by a creek. Right, babe? Yeah. It yeah. is. It's very nice. Cool. Yeah, it has a heart. And green. It actually has a heart here, right by, the, right by that tree. Yeah, and it's green. There's nothing burned here, which is the goal today is to stay out of that burn. That's the tough thing about where we live right now. It's got so much burned in our area that all of the areas that we used to like to go to aren't as pretty as they used to be. What you got there, babe? A heart and an interesting looking rock. Boy, that's interesting. I don't know what it's like it is. It's got some. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah. Let me clean that one up. Well, this is just what I needed. Day out in the woods, having lunch in a beautiful spot with my beautiful wife. I had a good lunch. Gourmet, peanut butter and jelly. Doesn't get no better than that. Talk about this. And, then, and then we see this tree over here she wants me to say anyway look at this area isn't this beautiful we got the creek down here 
just a beautiful spot. The only thing is, at one point, this big old tree fell over. And it fell over and laid down. There's the rest of it over here. And um, somebody cut it, of course, to get in here because uh, this is a mining claim. So maybe somebody was needing to get in here. But as what happens sometimes with these trees that pull out of the ground, this one pulled out of the ground. The, 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 the root wads right here, this tree, when it, when it blew over, it, it fell over and it pulled that stump there went with it anyway the whole thing pulled out of the ground when the guys that came in here cut it the stump jumped back up to vertical it was almost vertical and that happens sometimes with these ones that pull out of the ground like this they'll once you take the weight off they'll pull back up i had one happen i had a cedar tree in our yard that did that so and i've seen other ones do that too so it's, not uncommon for the uh, for the ones that blow down because there's the root wads have a lot of weight on them. It's like a counterbalance. So anyway, Karen wanted me to explain that while she's eating her orange. <laughs> but I just had to say this was uh, just what I needed after after the ordeal I've been through in the last six, seven months um, with my health. So now I am back to pretty much back to normal. I haven't found any limitations yet. I haven't really tested myself too well, but I'm still working on it. Um, a few, a couple of weeks ago, I took a drive up to Antelope Lake on a bumpy road and that was not a, not a good thing. It was very uncomfortable. So today we're on a bumpy road and doesn't seem to be a problem. So sitting here having lunch in the beautiful woods in such a pretty place is just what I needed right now. We had a good day today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Came back through Quincy. Kind of like, uh, didn't really want to do that, but uh, late in the day, so we decided to, so I decided that coming through Quincy is probably our best bet. Right now we're stuck in uh, road construction. <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> so, anyway, all in all, it was a great day. Nice day out in the woods. Saw some pretty country on roads we've never been on. Can't beat that. <laughs>